Hello, my name is Joe Morrison. I'm the Chief Executive of the Northern Land Council. This DVD is going to highlight some very important stories, stories told from families, from individuals, about the importance of enterprise or getting involved in enterprise that benefits families and the broader community, the importance of generating good health, both mental and physical health, and how that's important for our communities. These stories are also important because Aboriginal people are actively involved in things that are important to themselves, to their families, and are also meaningful. I know these experiences, these stories that you're going to hear are very important. From my own experience, I've seen the power of enterprise and activity for families, for men and women and children to work together on things that they can commonly share and hold value in. I've seen this over the last 20 years of working with Aboriginal communities across Northern Australia, that the little things that sometimes by outsiders might not seem to be that important are profoundly important for local people who are living on country and involved in things on their own country and in the larger communities as well. These are the things that you're going to hear about that I'm sure that you will be touched and understand the nature of how important they are. G'day there, friends, family and countrymen, wherever you're watching. My name's Marcus Mungulesi. Welcome to the show. We're going to talk about how Aboriginal people can be strong within our spirit, mind and soul in one with our land, creating businesses for ourselves, for our children and for their future. So it's creating job opportunities for ourselves using our homeland using a culture. Right now, we're going to go and check up them over in Catherine region. They're doing some really, really impressive artwork to heal mind, soul. So here they are, over there, them of countrymen down in Catherine, doing some really, really fine art. What we offer here is training in various art techniques in glass and we also hope to have some opportunities of employment for our people as well, for our young people in our community. Yes, yeah, so I am coming every day and it's good too, good experience for learning, keeping us busy, not worrying about alcohol not worrying about walking around the streets and it's very interesting and it's fun because we all know each other. And oh, we learn new, new things every day and yeah and we really like it here because it's really hard for uh, Aboriginal people to get a real high job and anything like that so it's going to take us time to get there. Yeah, like maybe day by day as we come into to this little workshop. It's keeping us head away from like our mind, focusing on the stuff what we're doing now instead of thinking about other things like alcohol and drugs. Because most of our people have been affected by alcohol, drugs or other substance and also huge numbers of domestic violence in our community. Um, so it's just a small way of my, myself and my family contributing towards breaking that cycle so that, you know, we have a certain um, self-hope for our people in this region. The, the program here is good. 
cutting glasses, finding things, glasses, you know. Decorating the glasses, making it look good. Yeah. Once we look at it, we will feel good, you know. Yeah. Keep us busy too, yeah. Keep us occupied. Yeah. Keep us stay, stay out of alcohol, drugs. Yeah. Keep us out of the streets. I was actually waiting for this program to start. And it can help me get skills for other jobs. A healthy mind is a busy mind that you know, stays focused and stays positive. So that's what we're trying to encourage our young people to be more positive in life and to have something in life that they can look forward to. And um, creating, and I, and I believe that art is a, a form that helps, can be a process of healing for young people as well. Because it, it's really taking, finding their strength and how they can mould that strength into something and to to actually work with art and seeing the end products of an art is, is something that is very special for, for anybody, you know. No, it's all right, I'm cutting the glass and that and grinding it. It made me feel good that I've done that. I feel good yep. when I finish doing it. Make me feel happy and proud to myself. Mm. Hey, get out again. I'm just checking around here for Yeraki. You know what Yeraki is? Yo, Yeraki is a young word um, here in Arnhem Land, North East Arnhem, but um, other, other places you might know it as uh, Dujuridu. Um, of course, obviously, you find it in um, a hollowed out um, stringy bark or any other tree that's around in the bush. As a matter of fact, over in Yirkala area, um, at a community, little community just near Ski Beach, halfway, called Birikimi. And old man Jallo lives there. They run a small Yeraki um, business there. And this, this man is a genius. And um, he's passing that knowledge to his children as well as uh, grandchildren. But um, they, they harvest trees and his Yeraki goes even across the seas to the, uh, to the other side of the world. And he's he's world renowned um, Yuraki master. He's also a teacher and a Yuraki healer. So check this mob out out at Pirikimi um, doing the Yuraki business. <laughs> Kangarakan <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we began to do uh, something that it should have been. 
followed up from overseas Martika or water and to send him to overseas or no, don't know the territory, Navala, South Lil, Captain Area, Lavala, Jan Rice, Queensland, Alanya, Iraq. All around, a uh, different use, different Palaja, Yolong, Nakon Palaja, Kita, Kipu, Yolonga playing, Kawalka, Navala playing, Napurung instrument from Australia, North East Animal. Eh? Mind mark. They had it. Help, help us, helping each other. Now we had no problem. The three that talk, somebody that talk, I don't want to. The three healing take place me. Out of the flowing and the cold, typical heart, little. I'm teaching on the third one. Teaching. How do you know that now I'll teach in the culture like now when I'm sleeping and there's something I can see clear. But then I hear that I can't see that right through the clear that I hear 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 I hear it to tell me to help to blow my the moko one day. One moko like that. The second I got it, I do one day. I was like, ah, milk on no problem. I was like, ah, trip, 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 trip. Two, pijanoa, I do one day. Simple, simple one. My Macan, you are a boy. That way, well, and I all. Yo, hello again. We're now going to go and check out the mob from Yirkala. They're doing some really, really good uh, positive things out there, and they're getting involved in gardening. So they're doing some landscaping, they're doing some planting, harvesting, but also they're learning some other stuff on the job. So like simple machineries, uh, like tractors and whatnot. So hope you enjoy it. Check it out. To jam a little marty, need to enjoy no life till jam angle. Only need to go on and on in a bang on it to jamma. Only need to bore in the canina wang angle. Only no wang with the bang on jamma. Not a pejal media jamma. Paras pongoin. That one had a jamma. But a leganin langas keep it. Barco. Every morning, every morning. It takes. But I like it because it will help people in Jama. Like Kurutu Milnapurdual, Wawa Yapam, Marim, Wangana Milavurton, Metanam of Jama. Like teamwork, couple of them. Not only teamwork. Help, Palalan, Palalan, help Limbo. Look after Wanguanga, Cat Nima Wanguanga, Parnirumutan Wango Cat Nelecto. It gives me joy to know what I've been doing on this land. Because I know I'm doing something for this land, giving back to what the land has given me and taught me. Today, if I, if I wasn't here myself, if I didn't have this job, um, I know I'd be down the wrong track. We try very hard here to create uh, job opportunities for Yongle. 
uh, people, you know, for family, and um, take care of community and well-being. People are usually here about an hour early. Uh, the gate, I seem to have to open the gate earlier and earlier because people just like to be here. Working with plants, gardening, caring for country, um, a lot of that ties into you know, traditional culture. Um, uh, it's a very relaxing thing to do as well a lot of the time. Uh, often there's a lot of problems in the home. Um, it's a way of stepping away from that. Uh, we have a really happy, um, fun work environment here. A lot of these do go through a lot of problems in this place. Here itself and coming off school and no support to um, move to get a job. A lot of you will find it hard to go and ask for a job and go through signing papers and um, here it's very simple. You go and ask for a job at MEP, they do all the paperwork for you, they'll give you, provide you the, couldn't, the stuff we need for work, the safety gear and go to work that day or the next day. <laughs> Yo, let's check out now them countrymen down in Wadai. They're collecting natural resources from Mother Nature. So they're getting Billigot plum, or what is known as Kakadu plum. And they're producing medicine, products, and also fruits. Check it out. We and <laughs> One poor opirimia, mommy water canong and the plastic in the Nigeria, Mombata, and everything. Me maral canica, Kubuk Pantan, in the Polak for a banito. I had people, white people, they put it on their faces to make them young. Nini, I dim one year, or around the dim one year, you put ten o'clock. It's a hundred old cunning or uncle of Potter. I'm feeling the bottle of Ramon Gurun, the Maragua Coma Bangor Moran. Matora, the Mazaranai, the Matanga Bedo, Malingen, eight iron bed, five. Yo, here we are. At Inike Taoba, in the Anam Bay of North East Anam. Here at Inike, we've been running a cross cultural tourism business for nearly over six years now. But it has had a very big impact on the family, uh, creating job opportunities, car employment um, for some family that haven't even had a proper job for a long time. So, this is something. Uh, they can reconnect them back to country, so bringing them back from the little small communities, uh, bringing them back from the central communities back to the homeland and working on land.
if they can. We will come in, share many. We show them our culture. For this place, Benica, and for our family, how we live and why we staying in this place and why we living in this place. If there's some people that come from another community, they can do that. They can show they love the camera from their heart. That's all the things I will teach our customers. And after that, and we telling them story, we take them out, we showing a bush food, man can showing seafood, bush food, how the man's hunting, and we show the all the women how the women's hunting. What we gonna get? Like up the food. What we do out here um, with you mob out there, if you're interested um, to you know start a business um, on your home soil, you know where you belong, you know there's nothing holding you back from doing that. All you got to do, you know, is just uh, speak to the right people, um, and you know set up set up your um, structure within your family on um, how it you know how it's going to be run and then yeah and just go forward together and staying together as a family means you know strong family strong business you'll make strong choices uh, you know good choices for the future for our kids you have to put the right bait for your fish yeah. every weekend I said that to all these children in Inike. And they, what what you talking about, yeah. Palach? What you talking about? I'm not talking about the fish. What did this mean? I talking about Are you customers, tourists, yeah. you know. You can start learn for weaving, yeah. painting, you know. So you can fish, good fish, a lot of fish, you can get a lot of fish. Every year I get a lot of fish to Inika. That's the story for all the terraces. You know. And what this mean, a right good bait, this is sweat, sweat, sweat. This is the bait, sweat, fishing people in, yeah. When we pass away, we can live a generation in a good life. They can live in their own sweat. Uh, they can looking up to for a place. You know. but we're not working for ourselves. We're working for a generation, for the future. Right now, you're going to check up uh, on them of countrymen over at Delhi River. They're doing some really, really positive stuff uh, involving students from down south with the, with the community, culture, lifestyle, and knowledge. So here they are, them over at Delhi River. Check them out.
Well, one of the benefits of bringing tourists out is to showcase your culture and just be f feeling good about yourself and your, your community and your people. It is actually incredible. Like, I can't even describe it. It's, they're so lucky in some ways and you know, we're so lucky to be here and be able to you know, spend time with this mob. It's really good. And we learn a lot from it as well. Not just about their culture, but about ourselves. Not the chair. Our kidney, our poor put that I wouldn't be down south. What the chair? Nanging in me bush tuck and our mono land with him one name. The man in the kidney, what the chair? He then may pass it on Nagorin and one of our chick member. Culture Nagor and member Ninin. He was a tinin like generation, generation, pepper, you know, nindang in it. Stop. Last one, I want My young boy, young boy, and younger, younger, dating one of it all. May we practice with him and we copy with him when our old people, Bakakara, passed on with him. All with him can knowledge in very much. Tell him about with him and may we now number one and number practice area of Palamor. You can be in my kitchen in Bernal, our palme for pork la wala mara. And now you can feel him dangling, I everyone up for working in him. Kitchen but near in Bernal name. Conjure King, Troy, Merrigan, Tat, what a man name, Tat, ma'am. Turning it to paper carry two is in it. And call them Kenya, Dutching a enemy on her, let a headlight corner. E eleven can do them, them next year, man, E twelve. You wanting in a union in a man in the train naming in a bit two or one in any game. So when I finish from there, I come back, I can take cover from you then. And do the same thing what we do but today. Let them pick it in the window come and I feel really proud for someone like him to say that to me now. Agnes is working very hard. He worked but very hard, Agnes Page, Wally, to get young people out, of, out from Daily Rubber and like, encourage them La Dumbar um to a guide and take him place like like Robert Bush, so for the future generation they can take over in the future. Something that they will learn from doing it at Bush, and maybe when they go back into town, they they change their life and get into something that they want they are interested in doing later on. Oh, hello there. We've come to the end of the program. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the whole series um, and experience, experiencing through those families who is trying their best to uh, run, a, run a family business, but also to um, create 
self-determination, you know, mind, heart, body, and the land in one, using our culture, you know, going forward, um, and doing what's natural for us. Um, you know, hopefully it's been an uplifting experience for you, and soon you'll start your own business. But for now, I'm going to have to say goodbye, and enjoy this view of Dao Bai Nyinike. See you later. Do you know?